I asked you to hit me like a Spinosaurus holotype, and you did. Welcome to Podcast from the Puddle. For this episode, we selected a bunch of questions, suggestions, and comments. Let us begin. Okay, um, our first question comes from Adrian Wimmer. What is the meaning of life? Well, that's uh, the easy one. There is no meaning in life. Um, on the one side, that's pretty sad. On the other side, it's um, maybe the best thing we could ever have. Because we have the consciousness to fill our life with meaning and purpose. Okay, uh, next one from... Angel Guevara, I hope I pronounce that right. Um, he suggests, uh, I would propose, as a starting topic, maybe something more academically inclined, like what kind of books, blogs, magazines, authors, researchers, etc. do you usually consult to draw inspiration or general information from in order to make the animals realistically accurate uh, oh that's uh, complicated um, because I draw my information from so many different um, sources In most of the times uh, I, I'm, I'm just uh, searching for for the right papers and if they aren't um, completely up to date or um, maybe uh, questions arise, I normally contact uh, some the authors or, or other experts directly to get uh, the, the information I need. Um, normally, um, yeah, yeah, online sources like, like, uh, like papers um, rarely um, I use magazines. Um, I actually just did that maybe two or three times. Um, yeah. Next one. Uh, do you have any recommended titles or web pages uh, for any everyone who is starting up? How do you usually find or accept projects? What criteria, criteria do you use? Um, usually I would say that uh, a good starting point always is actually Wikipedia. Um, not actually because of the, um, of the text there or the pictures, uh, but more for the literature which is linked there. Um, sometimes uh, it's open access also, or you can go around the paywalls with a few clicks. Um, and that's a good way to, to find the relevant uh, literature summed up. Um, that's a good starting point. And otherwise, of course, um, everywhere online, just, just look for everything you can find. Um, Maybe not a carnivora forum, but uh, yeah. Um, next one from him, uh, but I have a question. The narration is going to be more focused on the details of the drawings um, or the details of the creatures uh, in boss or something else entirely. He, he means that I want to narrate um, some of my speed sketches. I'm not sure yet how I will do that. Um, probably I will something of everything a little bit. I will talk about what I am drawing, how I am drawing it, uh, background information on, on the animal, uh, maybe where it lived and so on. Some stuff I can't just put in into the description. Um, but maybe also talk briefly about other things which are going on uh, news and in, in science and um, uh, as a as a media maybe um, 
what I will do, I, I already know that, is that I will record um, the drawing and the narration separately. I once did that, drawing and talking at the same time, and I realized that uh, I totally fucked that up. It's way too challenging for my brain to uh, draw digitally and speak English at the same time um, and to higher the quality um, I will do it this way. Uh, next person Samson Long asks um, how do you choose uh, when do you uh, when you decide to draw something? Um, that's uh, diff difficult to say because uh, it's like uh, how do ideas happen? Well, uh, it's it's uh, a topic which is in the moment I think it's explored in uh, neurology, uh, brain studies, and uh, I have no idea actually how why I draw what I draw and. Uh, at least when it comes to speed sketches and 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 so on. Uh, oh, I, I I remember I uh, I skipped one uh, question of uh, Angel Angel, Angel uh, Guevara. Um, how do you usually find or accept projects? Um, in case you mean paid projects, uh, so commissions. Um, well, in some cases I just ask people if they need something for their publications or books, uh, but also most of the time um, it's, uh, it's that I, I'm asked uh, if, if I want to uh, participate or, or do that, uh, this and that. Um, I'm, I'm not really picky in the moment. Uh, it uh, mostly it's it's something uh, I, I, around uh, paleontology. I I don't really like to make uh, something uh, world building or speculative evolution uh, related as a commission because uh, most of that stuff is very personal for me and I I can't really use that um, for commissions. Uh, yeah, but when the payment is at least uh, decent, let's say, then it's it's mostly uh, a yes for me. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Next um, comments come from Robin Leeson's. Uh, I hope I pronounced it right. Um, ba -ba -ba. Um, First, uh, inform, um, these are some suggestions. Um, give information about your universe uh, in case there are new things you are working on, like Nia, uh, your dragon, Sylvanus, etc. Um, that's something I will probably do. Maybe. It's, it's kind of difficult because um, many things, uh, especially in the older core projects, um, are still very fuzzy, but they are also very important for later parts, um, which which uh, which uh, play in the future, like um, Nia and uh, and Sylvanus. Um, so maybe I will first need to uh, figure out some old stuff because before I can talk about uh, the development of of some of the newer. Um, because some of the old stuff is still very, very cringy. Uh, I still need to um, restructure some of my deviant art photos. <coughs> mm, second suggestions: um, uh, reconstructions you are working on for papers, books. Uh, if that's allowed, Kinder like Brian Eng does it on his channel. Um, I thought about that to show some of the work and action I'm I'm doing for, for publications, um, but I'm not sure 
in in uh, in uh, if I'm allowed to do that, I could, I could, of course I could ask if uh, if the researchers are okay with that. Um, but also I I sometimes feel like uh, I put out the spoilers. Uh, I'm not so sure. I'm yeah. Sometimes I I like to hear about these first little snippets uh, of of research which are on the way and other side on the other side I often think oh well now I need to now I know already what's coming but I still need to wait maybe two years before I have the papers in my hand so uh, yeah it's uh, complicated. But but maybe we will see. Um, maybe talk about new discoveries in paleontology, things that uh, are too sensationalized, like those tyrannosaurid impressions, or better things that are ignored because of these sensationalized um, press articles. For example, those new troodontids. Um, or maybe this uh, works better as a speed sketch instead of a podcast. That could be true. It could be better to to just draw what's new on the market and and talk at the same time about it. Um, well, that that may depend on how drawable it is, uh, or how how my, much time I have to to actually draw it, or if I. I'm inspired enough to really turn uh, a new paper into a drawing. That's not always the case and I have not always time for that. Um, and sometimes I, I feel it's uh, it's not the right way to just turn, turn a brand new paper directly into a new illustration. Um, I knew a few guys who actually criticized that practice <coughs> to to jump on on every band, bandwagon, um, but yeah, I, I will probably talk here and there about that. C M Kozeman, hi Memo, um, ask um, who are your top five paleo artists? Um, actually, I try to have no favorite paleo artist or no favorite paleo art or favorite uh, extinct animal. Um, very high up there is uh, for me still um, people like uh, um, Douglas Henderson for example, but I, but I, I tr try to not to, uh, to not really decide who are my favorites to uh, keep my myself as open as possible to learn from um, as many as possible and not to uh, idolize these um, very famous and, and very talented uh, artists too much. Um, b -b -b Tim Clay and stuff ask uh, no uh, Oh yes, uh, I have an idea. How about you start speed sculpting or animating things? That is a very good idea. Problem is, I don't have the software to sculpt digitally. And I don't know how to do it yet. Um, I, I'm actually planning science uh, a few years now to uh, finally do a workshop on digital sculpting and uh, modeling and uh, I haven't got the time yet to do it. It's certainly something I want to do. Um, and yeah, and on, on the other side I'm, I'm not sure if my uh, laptop, uh, I, I don't have something more powerful, uh, would handle uh, recording um, modeling and the modeling itself. Um, yeah, I would probably need to do that uh, elsewhere. Mm, next question by KTM17. Does your Beharia animal drawings are some part of project? Um, 
Yes. Um, for those who don't know, um, some time ago I already did a, a larger series of um, animals from Baharia, a uh, formation in, in Egypt. Um, the, the famous place where Spinosaurus comes from. Uh, the, the, the first uh, specimens at least. And I did that for a paper um, dealing with the uh, ecological um, uh, diversity and and uh, trophic uh, network and so on of of this place and uh, which which was a huge mangrove uh, delta at the edge of the Tetis. And um, I'm act I actually expanded that series quite a lot when I when I got that uh, commission because I was so pumped for for all this uh, this ecosystem and uh, how this works out and uh, I I think I ended up with doing more than double the, the required um, illustrations. Um, yeah, not not all made it into the the, the publication, but uh, the the ones that uh, weren't needed, I uploaded them on on DeviantArt, and there are now more than sixty pictures lying on my desk for um, a project which is uh, related to all that. Uh, to the series and um, which will end up in something you will be able to buy. Yeah, but uh, I I will probably later this year announce more of that and maybe there will be some advertising here and maybe a little contest or something like that. We will see. Um, then. Uh, probably very sad question no more global dinosaur monument updates um, for those who don't know that uh, the global uh, dinosaur monument is a older project by me uh, which deals with an um, possible dinosaur zoo in um, eastern Australia that's the setting and I it's it's probably it's it's pretty uh, well. I don't deal with with uh, the technique uh, how these dinosaurs and and some other creatures are resurrected. That's just not interesting for me. I just deal with uh, things like how you could um, make the enclosures, how you how the, the dinosaurs would interact with modern fauna and flora and uh, interact uh, with each other also and and how you could um, create a much more interesting less uh, sensational park um, yeah and I haven't updated um, these this stuff for a while it's it's partly because um, this isn't really a part of my uh, this is larger universe cosmos I'm I'm building. It's more something parallel to that, uh, not really involved into all uh, that stuff about around Neo Raptors or Nia and uh, and Sylvanus and so on. And uh, I still want to work on it at some point but in the moment uh, there's just nothing new maybe i will just for fun do something when the next Jurassic world is coming out um to show the world how it is done right ahem <laughs> yeah um dip, 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 dip. next thing uh, a question by titan lizard which was where the toughest, most challenging artworks during your paleo artist career? Well, um, I'm not sure if you can speak about a career already. <laughs> it's still so fresh. Um, 
And the toughest one actually uh, was uh, completed just recently. Um, it isn't published yet, but it's uh, a new marine reptile from Germany. And um, I actually did this uh, illustration pretty fast. But then one of the authors came back to me and said, oh, you, you screwed up uh, at that point. And first I, I tried to fix it digitally, but in the end I, uh, I actually built a little model of, of uh, the lower jaw. And um, yeah, it's because the, the dentition is, is quite weird and uh, um, then I, I painted over it again and uh, had to scan it again and yeah it it was quite a challenge but it it was nice. Um, next question: What is sadder, a sauropod stomping on tortoises or people idolizing prehistoric animals like wrestlers? Um, tough one. I would say that the idolizing of prehistoric animals is kind of more sad uh, because sauropods uh, stomping on little shelled creatures was probably a common thing and nothing really to prevent. Um, yeah and, and tortoises of course are still around while idolizing of prehistoric animals uh, is is kind of um, a crime to mankind you might say at least in my eyes but um i've cough i'm of course i'm i'm very biased in that way um yeah i don't know what to say else on that and uh, a last comment. Wow, you sound much more different than what I had imagined. You are not alone, old basking shark with that uh, with that notion, with that observation you might say, because I noted that too, that I sound very much different than I expected. Mm. It's, it's always a little bit cringy for me when I hear my own voice recorded uh, every time. It, it gets better, but uh, yeah. It wa uh, actually, uh, this question, uh, this comment by Old Basking Shark wasn't the only one of this kind. I just picked this one uh, because it's, it's kind of funny how people... Um, build up their their own ideas around a person they, they never saw or heard. Um, yeah, I have these moments too, with myself and others. Mm, okay, I think that's everything for now. Someone, uh, I think, asked how long these podcasts will last. Uh, well, uh, look on YouTube how long this will last and um, write me in the comments. <laughs> I have no idea how long I will be able to ramble uh, about stuff on these recordings and yeah probably not as long as uh, Mimo can. He can talk for maybe two hours uh, about the same topic and that's something I might could uh, but normally not on my own. I, I'm better with that in in the framework of a discussion for example. Yeah. Mm, if you have more questions write them in the comment section. I would Love if you leave this video a like uh, and see you next time.